Hello all, welcome to SolidWorks Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to design a fidget spinner using SolidWorks software. Let's create a new file. I'm going to select part for this. Here we have design canvas. Before starting the design, I'm going to save the file. So I'll select save or simply press Ctrl S. I'm going to name this as fidget spinner. For this design, I'm going to use top plane. Right click on top plane here and select normal tool. Select sketch. I'm going to draw a circle first of random dimension. Click OK. I'll use center line. To do that, just click on drop down here and select center line. With origin as the starting point, draw a center line vertically up. And I'm going to draw another circle at the end of the center line. Now I'm going to add a relation to this circles. Right, press Ctrl and select this circle too. Now both the circles are selected. I'm going to add a relation to these circles saying that they are equal. Select OK. Now these two circles are equal. Now I'm going to add dimensions to the circles. Select this circle and uh, give the diameter as 38 mm. Now this circle has also diameter of uh, 38 mm. Select OK. I'm going to go with smart dimension again and this distance is going to be 50. Select offset entities select both the circles and make sure that the offset distance is 5 mm. Also make sure to check reverse box here so that the offset is inside the circle. Just click OK. Now we have two circles. I'm going to go with circular sketch pattern. Click on the drop down and select circular sketch pattern and Select both the circles here and change the number of instances to 3. Click OK. Now the sketch is under defined so I'm going to go and make it fully defined. To do that just click on this drop down here and select fully defined sketch. Make sure all entities in sketch is selected and select OK. Now the sketch is fully defined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw arcs touching this circle and this circle, this circle and this circle and this circle and this circle. So I will select three point arc here. Start from any point in this circle and uh, join it to this circle over here and click somewhere in the center and click OK. Now we have arc joining this circle and this circle. I'm going to do the same for other circles as well. Select three point arc and draw an arc from this circle to this circle. Do the same for the last side. Now I'm going to add relations to the circle and arc. Select the arc and then press control, select the circle add a relation saying that the arc is tangent to the circle. Do the same for the others. Select this arc and select the circle and make arc tangent to the circle. It's going to be the same here. tangent 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 now that we are done with adding relations i'm going to make a small change here 
just make sure that this point and this point are horizontal to each other so I'm going to add a relation saying that they are horizontal click OK also these three arcs have equal dimensions so I'm going to make them equal by adding a relation now I'm going to add dimension to this arc here it's going to be 50 mm click OK so this arc has a radius of 50 mm and the sketch is fully defined now I'm going to use extruded boss or base option select extruded boss and first select this face of this circles select all the four and select this middle part and click OK now that we have the basic shape of a fidget spinner what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fillet to this click on fillet here and select full round fillet so face set one this is going to be the face set one and uh, under face set two select the bottom face and for face set three select the side face and select OK so this is how your design looks like after adding fillets to the faces now I'm gonna add more fillets select fillet and select face fillet so under face set 1 select this face and for face set 2 select this face and this is going to be 1 mm okay do the same for all the holes select fillet and it's going to be face fillet here for face set 1 select this and for face set 2 select this and um, radius is going to be 1 mm this is going to be face set 1 and this is going to be face set 2 fillet this is face set 1 and this is face set 2 do the same on the other side too so select fillet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this Now that we are done with adding fillets, I'm just going to go and make a small change to the extruded boss. Right click on the extruded boss and select edit feature. Instead of blind, I'm going to make it mid plane and uh, I'm going to select OK. So now we have the complete shape of fidget spinner. We are going to add ball bearings to this holes so before doing that let us go ahead and save this file and I'm gonna go select make assembly from part and uh, click OK now that there is already fidget spinner part here just drag it onto the canvas select the part and drag it onto the canvas uh, instead of creating a ball bearing we can use tool library just click on design library here and go to toolbox select add in now 
and I'll go with Indian standards select bearings and under ball bearings select single row radial ball bearing I'm gonna drag this part here here we have the specifications configuration of the component if you see this the size is 12 which says the outside diameter is 28 the diameter for the holes which we made is also 28 here I'm gonna select simplified under display for these three holes and for this hole I'm gonna use detailed version for now I'll use simplified version and uh, click OK I'll place one here I'll place one here and the last one on this side and I'll press OK or escape I'm going to delete this one now again I'll go to tool shop and I'll select single row radial ball bearing For this, I'm going to use a detailed version of this. Select OK. I'm going to place this here. I'll delete this component here. So now we are going to mate these components to the fidget spinner holes. Now I'm going to mate these bearings to the spinner holes so go to assembly and select mate select this face and select this face make sure that under standard mates concentric is selected and select ok do the same for all the holes and the bearings Now that all these uh, bearings are concentric to the fidget spinner holes, just drag them to the top here and add another mate. Select this face, the top face and the top face of the fidget spinner. Select OK. Do the same for the rest of the bearings and spinner holes. Now we have assembled all the bearings in their respective holes. Right click on this bearing and keep it as fixed. Right click on this and uh, make it float. Now you can see the rotation of the fidget spinner about the central axis of this bearing we can change the appearance of this just select appearances scenes and decals and go to appearance under appearance select plastic i'm going to select high gloss and uh, choose any color you wish to i'm going to select uh, red What we can do is we can just drag and drop it onto the design. Now I can select the whole body here. So I'm going to select whole body and I'll go with trimetric view. We will see the motion analysis of the fidget spinner in the next video. Till then stay tuned to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.